Welcome to Chef Volquez Cajun Kitchen. Right now, it's about 60 degrees. I've just been picking some oranges and some little conquats and some lemons. And I tell you what, it's a beautiful day. All my little plants look like they got new blooms on them and everything. But you know, hey, that's the way it is down south over here in Louisiana. You know, right there on the bayou. All right, today, I'm doing a wonderful, wonderful meal. This is something that's going to be easy to prepare. Shrimp and chicken flavored cornbread dressing. And that's what we're doing today. You can use it for a stuffing or a dressing mix. I'll be showing you how to do that, and I'll tell you what, you're going to enjoy the heck out of it. Hey, oh yeah, baby, let me tell you, you got to do it, and do it like I do it for it to be right. And listen, while I got you here, Urban Treasure Hunter, he got about six gallons of blueberry wine sitting at his house over there. You say anybody wants a bottle of wine, come on over. It's yours for the asking. He's got it there to give, and I tell you, it's excellent wine. It's Christmas time, and that's what he and Camera Girl do. That's their thing. They give it out, boy. Let me tell you, hot dang. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Aye, oh yeah, baby, God dang. Again, now we're going to do some serious, serious cooking. Let me tell you. To get my little stove working out here. This is my outdoor kitchen. I don't have a little studio like JP. JP's the man, though. He got his stuff together. Getting my pot hot right now. If you haven't had any, haven't had any of Urban Treasure Hunter's blueberry wine, let me tell you what you're missing. Damn, that's good stuff, let me tell you. That little bottle he got, that'll make you a nice and Toasty and warm on the inside. Okay, here I go, because I got to get this over with. Setting up is the hardest part for this. You know, normally I do this in the kitchen, but today it's so pretty outside, I decided to do it out here. All right. Hey. I've got a, qu a quarter or a little over a quarter cup of uh, butter. I'm going to melt my butter down a little bit. I'm going to make this as simple as could be. I'm 
and it's looking pretty and while it's melting I've got some shrimp that I chopped I'm putting in there and I've got parsley flakes onion I've got a small maybe a quarter of a large onion really I got about a quarter of a bell pepper, a medium bell pepper. I've got a clove and a half of garlic. I just used, uh, like I said, parsley flakes. I just put what I want. Ah, you looking good. Better lower that fire a little bit or I'm gonna be uh, practicing my firing skills. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I like about outside. Everything is a table. Ooh, ho, 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 Lord, the smell on these shrimp and garlic. And onions and bell pepper. I'm just going to let it do its thing. I just want it good and sauteed. Oh, yeah, the shrimp already starting to turn a little pinkish. They're getting away from the raw stage. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, this flavor I captured. This is a captured flavor. All right, at this point, right now. I'm going to put my whole shrimp in there. And if you notice, I left a lot of juice in here. I, I don't want a whole bunch of juice because when I my, my cornbread mix is pretty much uh, measured. And this is what I'll be using today: chicken flavored stuffing mix, stove top. I'm not advertising for them, but it's good stuff. That's that's what I like. I like to use it. I could have, uh, and, I, and I really could have just used plain cornbread. You know, if you can buy the cornbread without the flavor and everything, I could have done that. But this is good. I like that little chicken, chicken and shrimp flavor. I like that. When I make a good gumbo, I like that. Quite a few people while I'm waiting on this. Let me put this in here first. This is my shrimp stock that I made. I got a cup and a quarter. See how it's turning? That butter's floating to the top. I wanted that butter because it's not, uh... oh yeah. To me, it's more healthy for you, and it's going to get that flavor going. Now I want to lift my flame up a little bit. I'll be back after a while. Aye, oh yeah, baby. Hot dang. All right, it's starting to cook good. Got rid of a bunch of liquid. Now I want to add just a little bit of salt, not much, because you got salt in your mix. Not much. Boy, if you would smell this. Ooh. Get me one of these shrimp. gone about 10 minutes I guess and it's all looking good I need to get rid of a little bit more liquid
Ooh, that smells good. I'm using that real chicken broth flavor. I'm going to shut this down. The shrimp are cooked. They've been gone for a while. Bell peppers sauteed. Onions are sauteed. The garlic is sauteed. So now I cut it off. It's off. It's not doing anything. And now put my cornbread mix in there and just kind of shuffle it around get it damp all the way through oh yeah Smells so good. It's moist. You don't want it too moist, but you want it moist enough to melt to, to get your cornbread where it's going to be like a dressing. Shrimp are doing it to it. The onions and the bell pepper. All right, I'm going to just cover that and let it sit. And that's it. I'm going to put them in the house. About 30, 40 minutes when it's time for us to have dinner. I think I'm just going to have that and maybe a tomato, sliced tomato salad. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. That's all I need. That's a terrific meal, another glass of wine. And look, hey. This is awesome. Don't need no manners out here. Did it again, yeah. <laughs> Where's my dog? <laughs>